Welcome back to the Joyride. This time, we're gonna be testing one board in two very different constructions. So we've got the AR model from KT Surfboards here in the same exact dimensions, but obviously there's one major difference. The white one here is a PU blank with epoxy resin, and the black one is a stringerless EPS core with a vacuum sealed carbon wrap. These boards were designed by Keith Taboul, who is Maui Bay Shaper, who actually came from the world of windsurfing. Some of the surfers you might have seen riding these boards are most famously Kai Lenny and also Imai Kalani Duval. He rides them a lot on the Challenger series when the waves are sort of subpar. So the goal of this story ride is one, to of course find out if we like this board or not, and two, we want to see how two boards that are shaped exactly the same but are made of different materials will perform compared to one another. As you can see, I've already put in some time on these boards, so let's jump straight into my first surfs at Lakey Peak. Right off the bat, I noticed some crazy differences between these two boards in really similar conditions. The PU board felt like it sat down in the water and surfed just like really nice and smooth. Just kind of like the board you could hop on and feel comfortable on immediately. But it did seem like it got like a little bit sticky in the best sections of the wave, like the steepest part. It was almost like it had like a speed limit, like it didn't want to push beyond this certain invisible boundary line. It also felt like it didn't quite have that X factor, like that explosiveness that you really look for in a new board. Then I got on the carbon board and it was like going from a Camry to a Corvette. Anyone out there want to go fast? I wanna go fast! Like as soon as you step on the thing, you can just feel how alive it is. And it was turning so tight and so fast in sort of the steepest, juiciest sections of the wave. But then on the flip side, if you sort of hit a flat section or if you almost like took your foot off the gas pedal with this board, it would slow down and deflate a little bit. It was almost like it just needed this like kinetic energy to always be moving in motion and then it just like wants to explode out of the lip. And the blackboard like hated bumpy conditions. Anytime that I was out there and it was windy and choppy, it would just sort of be like bouncing and slow. Whereas the white one would sort of just plow through it all and just be a really smooth, nice surfboard to ride. So that was my experience at Lakey Peak. Now we are at Kandui Resort in the Mentawise and we're gonna get it in, I think, some even better waves. Maybe some tubes? I don't know. Let's find out. like so fun out there but I don't know I just feel like this board's not quite holding the way that I want it to like it's just a little skittery on the surface I'm gonna try the PU see if it goes any better That was a blast. It reminded me almost of like a Mason Ho wave. Like you take off straight into this little tube and then it's like this death end bowl over half an inch of reef <laughs> that you can hit if you want, but buyer beware. Anyway, I rode both boards out there, super fun conditions. Took the blackboard out first. Definitely had a little trouble with it. I don't know if that's because I haven't seen waves this good in a while and I forgot how to tube ride, but I remember going for like a couple stalls and like missing almost, like not being able to slow down, like the board feeling a little fluttery under my feet. It really likes to move around, I've noticed. I just felt like I wanted to try the PU board to see if I could get a more centered, balanced feeling on the wave, which is what I felt like I was lacking out there. 
So I switched to the PU, jumped out, and immediate difference, like crazy difference. Like I felt like I was just stuck to the wall. I could slow down, I could speed up. It felt like a new day, new board, new life, new me, and it was clearly the superior board in these conditions. And I think it's just a matter of the fact that it sits down in the water that little bit more. And when you're going that fast and surfing a wave that's that cuppy, you really need something that just grabs onto the wall and holds. And that's definitely this board. So in this session, and at most of the sessions in Lakey Peak as well, I've been using the same exact set of fins because I want to remove as many variables as possible. The AM1 is basically my go-to fin for any sort of like normal performance surfing, like I throw them in at a little beach break at home, anytime when I feel like I'm going to be doing kind of like fun hi-fi surfing. I want to do one last session on each of these boards and put them in the conditions that I feel like are actually preferred for both of them, just to see if we can sort of maximize their potential. I really want to find that like perfect day for each of them just to cap this thing off and try to pick which one is ultimately my favorite. All right, so we got one last surf on each of these boards. The white one at sort of a wedgy little reef with a bit of wind. The black one at a really clean sort of open-faced reef that was so much fun. <laughs> and I think both boards served their purpose. Obviously they're the same board, so there are gonna be a lot of similarities, but I really found that the white one, when it came to airs, it definitely landed more. And I think that's because the PU core, it just dampens the landing a little bit, makes it a little bit softer when you come down. Of course, that comes with its downsides because the deck of this board now pretty much looks like the face of the moon, whereas the black one looks relatively unscathed. So the carbon definitely makes the board a bit stronger. If I had to choose one of these boards to ride every single day, if I'm being logical, I'm probably gonna choose the white one. I think it's good for a larger range of conditions. You're almost like never gonna be bummed that you're riding this board. But on the other hand, the session that I had on this blackboard was so magical. I just felt like I could put the board anywhere, turn as hard as I want, keep it on rail all the way through a turn, or just release it, sort of break it, let the fins out, whatever I wanted to do. So to me, the blackboard is like the one that I'm more excited to ride, but it has to be specific conditions. It has to be clean, it has to have some steep face to it, otherwise it's not really going to perform. Whereas the white one, you feel like you could paddle out any single day and have fun. It's honestly fascinating to me how different two boards that are shaped exactly the same can perform just based on construction, but as you can see, and as I certainly felt, they are very different boards and you'd use them in very different conditions. Overall, I guess that's the difference between carbon EPS and PU epoxy.